Like many of you, I love the sound of vintage Marshalls. However, after years of searching, I have found the answer to the tone that I've been looking for, and it's not a vintage Marshall. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Jordan Still. Today you're gonna to be checking out the MGL 50 2204. This is a hand-wired recreation of a vintage Marshall JMP 2204. I first heard of MGL amps from LA guitarist Jimmy Burkhard after seeing some of his videos and I was like, man, his tone is absolutely incredible. What is he using? And he had it in the videos, it just said MGL. I'm like, what is an MGL? I've never heard of that. So it piqued my interest. I put on the list of amps to check out. MGL stands for Mark's Guitar Loft. And Mark is very passionate about making and recreating the vintage Marshall JMP sound. It's one of the most iconic sounds there is. He loves that sound. I love that sound. So I was instantly kind of gravitating toward the MGL amp. And before purchasing this amp, I've tried out tons of different amazing amps that I've been putting on my list of hopefully one day of getting, but I wanted to find the right one first. 
on that list was like the Saldano SLO 30, the Friedman Small Box, Friedman BE 50, things along those lines. There was something I loved about them, but there was still something missing about how it inspires me to play. And thankfully, I had the opportunity of trying out an MGL 50 Red Circuit for about a month or so. As my playing's been evolving over time, I'm kind of wanting a little less gain in my amplifier. And that amp in particular was so easy to play, it just made me end up playing way too many notes. At this point in my playing, I really want to be kind of brought back to more of the melody and the, the touch and dynamic and the expression and having so much gain. I love it so much. It's so fun playing that, but it just it pushes me in this musical direction that I don't want to leave behind. I still love that and want to hold on to that, but I just want to be inspired in a different direction. And that's where the 2204 comes in. It's basically a non-modded JMP 2204 from the late 70s, early 80s. But of course, it's still got some amazing upgrades that, in my opinion, pushes it better than the original thing. One amazing feature is that it has an awesome transparent effects loop. Sounds great. And what I also love about it, it's got an on and off bypass switch. So if you don't use the effects loop, you can just switch that off. So there's no extra circuitry going on. Also, there's a negative feedback voicing switch, which is labeled either vintage or modern. And basically, he describes that as the vintage is more plexi-esque and the modern's a little bit more JMP. We're going to go through that later. Both are very subtle, but very useful. And it changes how it sounds and how it feels and definitely how it inspires you to play. And then on the front, there's a switch that is basically stock. And then you flick it up and it's a little modded kind of extra gain boost in there if you want that. And of course, there's tons of amazing components used in the building of this amp. I don't, I'm not an amp guy. I don't know all the different technicalities of those things. You can check out the MGL Ampworks website if you want to learn more about what kind of components that he's using. I'll link that in the description below. But I know it's really, really high quality stuff and it all comes together and sounds wonderful. If you would like to support me and this channel, go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Over there, you'll find tons of great guitar lessons, all with tab, covering scales, licks, techniques, and much more. You also get early access to videos, and you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get back to the video. All right, with that said, we're going to be checking out some different tones. I'm really going to be just demonstrating some of the tones that I used in the song that you guys heard in the beginning of the video. On every guitar in that song, I used the MGL with different settings to kind of combine and create that sound. I'm going to start off with kind of the lowest gain sound that I ended up using, and I use this on what I would consider the verse of that song, but on the rhythm track. And we're going to be on the modern voicing switch on the back, and then the boost is off, and then the gain's around noon right now. Also, uh, before we get into it, I'm running out into the Sur Reactive load, and I'm using a Greenback loaded IR. Um, I just really like the sound of this one. There's many different options. I'm just using the stock Sur Reactive load IRs. I've been enjoying them ever since I've got it. Or the master volume, I, I, I forgot to mention, is absolutely amazing on this as well. So you can turn it down at the house and play really softly. But I like to do it with the reactive load for I can easily record different sounds. Now, one thing you'll notice right off the bat with the different tones that I choose to use is I set the amp brighter than I like. And we're going to get into how the EQ and the gain settings kind of coincide tonally. Um, with the gain being at noon, it's going to be naturally a lot brighter. As you turn that gain up, which we'll do in a second, it fills out the bottom end and warms everything up. But with that at noon, this is what I use for the clean sounds, which were more like something like this. Now... If you guys watch my playing ever, I don't really play clean. And my favorite type of clean is really where you hit hard, it still kind of breaks up. And then you pick light and it sparkles and it's very natural. And that's what this does. So if everything on neck pickup, like full on blast. You know, I just love that sound right there. But it might be a little bright. Let's just go to the bridge pickup real quick. And one thing I always do is I set my EQ on the amp, uh, especially with the Les Paul, to the neck pickup. So I want the neck pickup to be really clear and warm. And then that ends up leaving the bridge pickup often a little bright. But I like that because I'll just roll the tone knob down to like five or six. And 
then maybe roll the volume knob. If, say I want it a little cleaner. Sorry, I got a scratchy volume pot. Let's go to the neck pickup. See, that's right now is on seven on the volume. And then if I'm soloing, I can just roll it up and get a little bit more gain. And that's like one of my favorite things in an amp. And that's kind of why I didn't personally like the Saldano as much, is I'm very big on the volume knob kind of controls and the tone knob. And I need an amp that really reacts to that. Because when I'm playing and I'm soloing, I'll just make slight adjustments on the volume just to make it bring out the tone in different ways. And this MGL does it perfectly. All right, now I'm gonna play some kind of rhythm and the gain's still at noon, but I'm gonna turn it up to where I, I my favorite sweet spot is kind of at three o'clock. So we're gonna hear what it does to the overall tone. So everything's on 10 right now. Let's play some chords. <laughs> Now I want to turn the gain up to three o'clock. Do you hear how fat it got just like the low in there? lately i haven't really went much more gain than that i kind of kept it right there i can still roll the volume knob down and get something like I'm gonna turn the gain back down to noon and then I'm gonna hit the boost switch on the front and we'll hear how that sounds. <laughs> Instant, way more 80s, just rock and roll. All 
right, now I'm gonna turn the voicing switch in the back to the vintage setting, which is more plexi, a little bit smoother and softer on the attack. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna turn the gain up to three o'clock. So now the gain's at three o'clock, the boost is on, and the vintage, it's on the vintage voicing, which is a little bit smoother and softer. This is the setting I used for all the guitar solos on the song that you guys heard in the beginning of the video. It just was smoother, softer, and a little bit sweeter, less punchy. I was letting the rhythm be more punchy on the more modern voicing and I was letting the lead be a little bit smoother. Still, check it out. It, all that gain, all that saturation, still roll the volume knob down and it gets. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the MGL 502204. If you're interested, check the link below. You will be absolutely happy with your purchase of an MGL 50. This is the best amp I've ever played. It does every single thing that I want. It reacts to pedals the way I want it to, it reacts to my guitar, my dynamics the way I want to. Every sound I could ever want is in this, and it just does it perfectly. All right, I'll see you guys back next time.